Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ruin. I run the place. Did you miss me? I bet you missed me. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Uh, we are inside the Tent of Horrors here, inside the, uh, inside the, uh, clown posses here, uh, uh, thing. And, uh, lo and behold, I goofed, guys. I goofed a bit. Um, I recorded about a full episode. A whole 40-minute caboodle. And then looked over and realized I wasn't recording. So, I missed some stuff. I don't remember what all I missed. Um, <laughs> But I did some more stuff at the circus. I went inside the side. I spent some money to go inside the sideshow. I did the silver plater. <gasps> yes. And uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So I looked around in here and saw all kinds of stuff. There was like weird looking things. There is uh, stuff on the shelf. And there were these grubs. And the clowns tell me that it's actually just a, a, a device. And we learned something here about clown eggs, how each clown will put uh, face paint on the egg to kind of claim their face paint. And no two clowns are supposed to wear the same face paint. But outside, that clown was claiming to have worn, that to have two clowns saying, wearing face paint. But it's awful suspicious. It's probably just the same clown doing magic. And we saw these things here. Uh, these uh, mirrors gave us different stuff. Um, one of them, the middle mirror, actually gave me a debuff, which took away some of my max HP. Fooey. And then this one here, um, let's see, it had an enemy inside of it that we can't find anymore, so that's scary. And then on this side, we are looking at the two people who are the 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 sideshows and whatnot. And they're all freaky. And this one here, we talked to her, and, uh, asking her questions and stuff. And, uh, and then she asked if we want to see inside the box, and I said, no thanks. And then I looked over to see how long I'd been recording and saw I wasn't recording at all. So, I want to go ahead and actually say sure. Um, sure. Janet whistles to the single clown, signal clown, and he moseys over. He unlocks the door at the front of the box and throws it open with a theatrical flourish. Inside, instead of Janet's body, you see a tangled, complicated assortment of glass tubes and pipes, ticking clockwork gears and pumps, liquids of various color, mostly red, slosh through the tubes. A large bellows near the top inflates and then slowly begins to deflate. What do you think? Um... Some kind of trick, right? <clears throat> no trick. The clown chuckles and walks around the back of the box. He opens a hatch and waves at you through it then saunters back to his place by the shelves. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. It's certainly educational. I imagine the larger tank on the left is my stomach, if you'd like to see what I had for lunch today. Um... I have so many questions. How did this happen? Uh, but I do want to examine her workings. I think that could learn something. Examine her workings. <clears throat> You watch the various liquids slosh around in their tanks and pipes for a minute. Weird and gross, but it is indeed educational. You learned anatomical learning. Uh, you know what makes a human being tick and how to stop one from ticking comes to, <laughs> from ticking come to that. Three melee damage. That's cool. How did this happen? Were you in some kind of terrible accident? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about that. Of course. Sorry. It must be painful memory. Her calmly composed face creases into a very slight grimace as she shoots a sidelong glance at the clown. Yes. Well, it was nice to meet you. Uh, so long. Good luck, Flermton. So, we've got a new ability. Oh, my. Wow. So now we can hear all of her stuff. Yep, there's all her stuff. <laughs> I cannot remember if I recorded or not, but I got Silver Tongue, and when I used Sil when I got Silver Tongue, I immediately talked the guy into giving me a complete refund, so I got all my money back for it. So hooray! I still want to save money and go get a uh, Silver Turnip, 
and uh, figure out what that nonsense is because it's possible to get and therefore I want to get it. <laughs> Got so many skills. Also, let's put this... Oh, wait. There's more. Wow. I <laughs> have so many skills. I wish I hadn't looked at that mirror more. <laughs> These guys are nutty. <clears throat> we do have tickets to the main show. Uh huh. Same thing we said before. Very ground is a dirty canvas star. Forgot about that. We're probably gonna fight that later. Uh, Muscly Clown seems to be guarding the entrance to some sort of stage. Talk to him. Stage show until later. When? Later. Yeah, but when exactly? Later. Okay, jeez. Okay, so we can't go in there. Um, so I guess we have nowhere to go. Except we can go back to the professor and see if I've gotten enough, uh, stuff to do anything new. Uh, another fight. It's snakes. Shoot, Nanny. Dag nab it. Didn't even hit. You failure. 15 XP, Venom Bladder, Rattlesnake Skin. Alright. Well, good to see you again. Uh, hold on, hold on. Fiddleford McGucket. Well, good to see you again. Have you had a chance to take a keystone to the Lost Dutch Oven Mine and look for that unusual pile of rocks? You can always make a keystone with five more of the vibrato scraps in that machine over there. I have indeed. Or oh, did you find anything interesting? Beyond all the weird ancient technology, I didn't mean to bring any. Leave that professor alone. Hold on. Uh, I need to fabricate a key. There we go. El Vibrato Keystone. Ba ba. Uh, professor assures you that this is a key. Opens the El Vibrato locks. All right. So let's go back to the Dutch oven mine. And try opening that rascal. We got all the way through with no interactions. Stench here is barely tolerable. Climb down. All right. Keystone. You insert the keystone in the crossbar. Snick. Enter the portal. Here we go. You bend over to examine the device and accidentally stub your toe. It hurts. It hurts, but the box moves. It must be lighter than it looks. Take it. You grab the device. And the professor will want to see this. El Bravado device. What's this thing? It says... Nortrakopava nonkobobi. Hmm. Zepsum chocolaka. Puta zebe. I'm wondering if there's some kind of a code in this. Okay. El, let's see. You've learned the Elva. Uh, oh no, you've learned the Elva Brata word for toilet. Oh, it said stick your hand in, and we did. <laughs> the monolith is dark. There's a trapezoidal section missing from this box. Ooh, we can get another key. The machine is dark. There's a circular hole in the bottom. Seems like it might be a doorway, but there's no keyhole or handles or anything. Strange device has three buttons on top of it. Leave them be for now. All right, let's try it. Push the first one. Those things aren't friendly. Neither am I. Oh my goodness. 
That damage is so bad. Hi ah. I wonder if El Vibrato Tech can be poisoned. El Vibrato Scraps, El Vibrato Punch Card. Which is the second one. Cool. It's just an endless El Vibrato fight. Okay. Aya. Holy cow, Gary. You punched so many times. And it does poison it. Whoa. Two, three, four, five. Good gracious. 60 XP, three Vibrato Scops, and now Vibrato Keystone, yay! I don't have to make one. Look at this. Uh, shooting in a. Okay. Pretty bad, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Just get stronger so I take less damage while I wait for the poison to kill a lot of my enemies. 28 to 30 damage. We're gonna start stacking up stench. It's a healer, huh? Shoot this. Okay. Twenty-five. Got forty-five. Got thirty-five. Okay. It's using Moxie. That's so much. They must have a lot of Moxie. Um, I think both of these will die. Whoops. <laughs> All right. We're just going to shoot you up. Woohoo! 100 XP. However, about a scraps, punch card, keystone. Okay. So now we can uh, now we can go and open up the store with a keystone. An El Vibrato loop. There's a strange cloth loop inside. At least it feels more or less like a cloth. A large loop of El Vibrato material, slightly bigger around than your head. Huh. Let's try it on. 
As you place the ring on your head, two things happen. One is that it begins humming and shimmering in that way that Elvar Bardo thinks shimmer. And the other? The other is that you suddenly feel as if you put earplugs in your brain. Your thoughts get weirdly quiet. Weird. Oh, hold on. The headband contains some sort of ancient machinery that prevents psychic waves from passing through it. Minus five mysticality. Examine. Hmm, let's not break it. I missed that last thing there. I'll have to read it between episodes. Machine is dark. No light in this doorway. Um. Okay. And also, we got some skills we can spend. Oh my goodness, 800. Um. Goodness gracious. I could almost just finish upgrading my hornswoggling. Or my dickering. You know what? Let's do that. To fight. I wonder what these all do. Okay. Do it. Oh, it's going to have so much. It's going to have so much damblage. Okay, do this. Oh, it only hits. Ow. With. All right, let's speed up the combat a bit. Ow. All right. Um. Drink to our health. And let's shoot the dickens out of, uh, this guy. And then Gary... Mmm... He should reproduce. No! Yay! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Victory. 100 EXP. More punch cards. What's this third one? What have we got here? Uh, El Vibrato Construct? Interesting. Alright. Let's do it! Okay, good. Uh... Five attacks. This will kill it, then. All right. Aya. And then shoot this guy. And then you do this. Ow. Okay. Shoot him again. Gary. You do this again. And... 
shoot. Kill. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Shoot. Okay, that's enough to completely upgrade our horn swoggling. Although we don't need to, but it just feels like such an opportunity to never have to worry about this again. So let's do it. All right. And let's go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, leave them be. Let's get out of here. And we don't actually need to come back. We do not need to come back. So what am I doing rolling out of here? I'm silly. Um, we need to go to the Gustavo and Gulch. I am ready to try the riddle contest again. Okay, first riddling this. A crazy man having no legs at morning and no legs after noon and also no legs at night. What is that? A man. Nope, the wrong answer is no good. But is so wrong being so wrong? Well, dang it. Um, an egg. Oh yes, an egg having no legs ever. Correct. Well, except if hatching into something that had legs having. But then it's not egg anymore, so who caring? Okay, sure. Next riddle, you ready? More eating, lighter getting. Lighter getting, shorter living. What am I? A uh, fire. Ha, no, fire is not alive. Okay, but you are wrong. Walk away in shame. Oh my goodness. Huh. A mayor. Um, okay, yes, I am a mayor. Correct. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> okay, one more riddling. Yep. Okay, last riddle. Here it is. A metal thing with little teeth in a hole while turning round entrance to my house is found. Where is it? Uh... An egg? No, did looking there already. Rats. Okay, ready. Where do we find your key? Under your welcome mat. Uh. Ready. In your vest pocket. Nuts. It was under the hat. Dagnabbit. In your hat. Wait. I did all of these. An egg. Gary. Hello, hooray! Hello, a goblin village. How nice to introducing you. I must admit I am curious. I'll let you do the talking. Okay, a goblin right here standing, letting greeting him. Also, Gary finding a key may be important here. Iron key. Okay. Dang it, Gary. Uh, ready. I have it here. Yeah, you solving it. You winning riddle contest for sure. Hooray! Here, you can dynamite having. Don't eating it all at once. You got an item. A year's supply of dynamite. Take the dynamite and your leave. <laughs> Hello again. Very happy remembering fun riddles times with you. Hello and yes, thanks. You being welcome here every time except not past here we're standing. So we can't go in? There's a hecking goblin village and we can't go in? Mm. You smell it before you see it. It's a stinkton. A smellington. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Shoot. Oh. It survived. That's amazing. Handful of loose teeth, skeleton bones, skull chips. Nice job. Alright, this dude ranch. Did we find... Like, can she go cook for the hot dog guy? Nah. Don't... Shuck, so if you hear anything, let me know. Well, dang it. Okay. Uh... 
All right. I guess we just go to the train and open up the next area. Abandoned crate with mine stuff. Open it up. Smelling salts, thermos spiked coffee, and a lodestone ring. Uh, magnetically attracting meat. It's a rare treasure for a prospector and a real nuisance to a butcher. Get back on the trail. Yeah, we'll put on the meat ring. I'm too powerful to care about any of most of that stuff. How long till we get to Fresco? Any luck finding a year's supply of dynamite? The passengers are getting restless. Yep, here you go. Good, perfect. This will do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellas to set up the charges. And I'll let you do the honors. Smee consults with the other workers and they inspect the rocks for a time. Eventually, one of them shrugs, pushes the whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks, and wires up the detonator. Alright, let her rip. Um... Wait, uh, don't you have a longer detonator cable? Nope. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get under the train. Great. Ready to detonate. Come on, set those fireworks off. What are you waiting for, Independence Day? Do it. Kablooey! Oh, holy heck, what is that thing? Hello. Um, hmm. There's a very large and very angry looking thing guy standing here. Apparently it's a little peeved at having a year's supply of dynamite blown up next to its butt while it was sleeping. How are you going to handle this? We could dance with it for 20 moxie. Fair fight. Let's dance at it. Dance battle! The rock monster is extremely strong, but that only matters if it can hit you, and it's geologically slow. Dancing around the creature, you find plenty of places to stick a knife, widening fractures and fissures created by the initial dynamite blast. Eventually, the entire thing just crumbles into gravel with an angry groan. That's a Guardians of the Galaxy reference, and I love it. All the days work. Okay. Should have hornswoggled it. I wonder what that would have been like. Well, now that's fine day's work, if I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track laid down here. Head out here. Here, I'll mark out your route on the map for you, in case our paths ever cross again. Thanks, but can I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Heh, <laughs> just kidding. Of course you don't need it. Uh, don't. Every seat on the train sold out. Sorry, boss. <sighs> Bye. Not much to see here now. The remains of your triumph over the crazy rock pile guy. <laughs> Dirt water. Hey, you cross paths with Wander and Sally again. Howdy, Flimpton. Interested in trading? You bet. What you got, Sally? That's good. Bar soap. Huh. I don't know if I own any, but I bought one now. Don't buy that. I buy the fungicide bomb, but to be honest, I don't know if we're ever going to use it. We never fight... Um... We never really fight these things anymore. Working boots. One AP, one armor. I've got something better already. If I got a pickaxe already, I do. Marigold! Um, I don't know if we already own one of these, but it's not good. And I know I own some locks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I own three. So let me buy two of these. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can buy them. Um. Me. Nah. 
I don't need the apple. All right, a wandering Sally. Is there stuff I could sell you? Stuff I will not need. <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, hello, a wandering Sally. You know her. She come to trading to in goblin places sometimes. Very rare for a human trader. Hmm. Am I forgetting about anything? Gary says you should give the military cap to the guy at the late. Ah! Thank you for the reminder. Uh, hey, Helmut. Uh, what are you doing in this place? This is my ground to stomping. You mean your stomping grounds? What? Talk to it. Your boots, which are very tall, I am seeing. Yes, tall boots I'm ha to having. So also tall am I. That's cool, but are they uncomfortable seeming, Very. I to having no sensation in my feet now, so this is fine. Steal those boots. Your boots to having very nice, but... 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 But what? what? Why are they not shining? Shining? Well, the dust is all around us. But I for a fee are to cleaning and to polishing. Oh... Are you two agreeing with this deal? Yes, yes. Jack boots. The goblin wiggles off its boots, and you take them and ride away on your horse, which seems absurdly mean, but goblins don't typically wear shoes at all, so it's only pretty mean. Plus four muscle. It's not bad. No AP. I should really start upgrading this stuff, though. I need more AP. Uh, that's just gonna give me another speed right now, and I don't really need another speed right now. Huh. I don't need to upgrade Fan Hammer. If I upgraded anything, it'd be shooting Annie. Uh, leave. I don't want that. You want that military hat. You got the strange head sack, the cat in the hat. Nice, man. Barter's like commerce, man, except natural. Can you dig it? Yeah, groovy. Alright. Plus four muscle. It's like a sack woven from red, gold, and green wool. It's something out of a dream. I wish I could tell you something. All right. Hmm. Oh, you're riding down the dusty desert trail. You catch a whiff of the unmistakable spent of snake oil. You follow your nose to the wreck of an old medicine show. You discover the new map location, the old medicine show. Check it out now. Oh, the Gary. Howdy, Gary. Oh, wow, yikes. What's up, Gary? Weird feelings, a sensation of puzzling. Huh? From that direction coming. You discovered a new map location, the West Pole. Am I forgetting about anything? Found a weird box in the elbow about a ruin. You should take it to the professor and see if he's got it. Thank you for the reminder. Dang it. Um, hold on. You get the sense the sofa was pretty nasty even before the wagon got destroyed. Most of these books are fake, but there's a real one. You got the oils I have known. You don't know how to use this fancy potion making equipment. Oh, dang it. Oils I have known teaches you how to make advanced boozes, oils, and potions. This book was penned by Doc Gallakick, one of the pioneers of the snake oiling trade. It's chock full of recipes for tinctures and balms and such. You read the book memorizing each and every recipe. You got a skill, potionology. Ironically, the oils from your fingers destroyed the fragile old book while you were reading it. Oh, well. Now I know how to use it. You sit down at the alchemistry set and pull out your briefcase full of snakes and snake parts. What do you want to start with? Make booze, make potions, make combat items. Huh. 
You stick a venom gland in the gland squeezer and prepare to turn the crank. What do you want to combine it with? A spleen. You turn the crank on the grand squeezer and a healthy dollop of oil comes out. Then you toss a spleen in with the venom gland oil and pestle the mixture into a fine oily paste. Patent liver tonic. You set this down in the alchemistry. And snake parts. Venom gland. A liver. A patent moisturizer. Uh, moisturizer. You turn the crank on the gland squeezer and the healthy dollop of venom oil comes out. Then you wring a, a liver out and adding its oil to what you've already got. That'll do. A liver! Let's combine it with a venom gland. You use the condenser to extract some liver oil and then you wring out a venom gland into the vial. A shot of snake juice. A liver and a spleen. Snake schnapps. Use the condenser to extract some liver oil and then you uncork a snake spleen and squeeze the contents into the vial. Uh, sit down, make a spleen. And a liver. You got a flammable bullet oil. Bring the liver out into the mixture. Uh, let's see, a spleen. And a venom gland. A venomous bullet oil. Okay. That'll do. Stop chemicalizing. Now let's look at all these things. Deals some damage to an enemy and poisons them. Deals hot damage to an enemy. This is the thing, okay, this is the thing that's in the cover. When we're choosing snake oiler and he drips stuff in his gun and then it shoots fire. Snake steps. Increases your moxie by five for the rest of the day. Snake juice. Increases your range damage by ten for the rest of the day. Whoa. Moxie by five. Health by 25. Woo. Okay. Former Resonance Nightstand. You got snake oils, livers, and spleens. Basic mouse. Uh, Dr. Riddick's mostly alcohol. Okay. We need to go to the professor's house. Give him that El Vibrato. By a burned out ranch house. Mm, pull up with Tim to investigate. There's nothing of interest above ground. You find a locked door. Clove drops, sarsaparilla, smell insults, patent and emetic. All right, doctor. Well, good to see you again. Have you had a chance to take out the keystone to the lost Dutch oven mine and look for that unusual pile of rocks? You can always make a keystone of five or more of our brother's scraps over there. I have indeed. Did you find anything interesting showing the strange device? Great, let's see. A marvelous find. This device makes batteries. Or will once I fixed it. Batteries. Yep, El Vibratoans powered their portable equipment with little electronic marbles. Like this one. I put it in your transponder. I sure I don't have to tell you. A regular source of those will be incredibly useful. Awesome. Leave the professor alone. Fabricate a battery. Only one. I do not have enough scraps. But I can go back to the Dutch oven mine. And I can put one in there. Alright. What am I doing? Ba -ba, ba -bum, ba -ba. All right, down we go. And onward. Crazy man. Climb it down. Vanish. Hmm, the monolith is dark. The machine is dark. There's a circle in the bottom. The machine comes to life. The screen says Chocolacolu, and there's a button on the bottom of the label. Push it. And a voice says Cholacobega. Side of the weird transport thing is busted. 
There's a piece here that's pretty obviously broken. It's a big cylinder on top of this rectangle tail. You took the L Barbado cylinder. Looks like it happened a long, long time ago. Alright, I need more scraps. I shouldn't have pushed the third one. Silly. Yeah, there we go. Some good damage. More Gary. Ow. Uh-oh. That's not great. Why is that a thing? How strong are these guys? Cool. That's exactly what we wanted. This guy will die on this turn. Whoa, I forgot about that. Thank you for whip. <sighs> All right. Okay. How much health do I have? I have 28 health left. I have 19 health left. I do indeed have the 19 health left. Gotcha. Pew. Oh, it does come with four scraps. That's good. How much scraps have I got? 12. That's enough for another battery. All right. So, we'll, we'll collect stuff later. Let's go to the West Pole. Discovered a new map location, the soup stock load. Um, uh, suddenly zags off the trail and reveals the foothills, eventually coming to a stop outside the very fragrant mine. Stop and smell the soup. Hello? Oh, another metals hole! Except this one is too smelling good. There is a hint of something on the breeze. What is that? Soups? You know, uh, I think you're right. Actually... Is there anything else we're forgetting? Looks pretty low on ideas since da Dalliance is right now. Take through it. Unrefined meat times three. Woohoo! Search these. I got smelling salts and a sulfur match. Oh. 
Lock picking two, eh? Interesting. Lock picking two. All right, let's open this up. Well welded to the bench. Hammer and a monkey wrench. Woohoo! Provides an option to wrench things in certain places. Doesn't even look a little bit like a monkey to you. Boiling soup. You don't have a suitable vessel. <gasps> no! I need mugs. Search the knapsack. You got a cultist mask. This is one of those spooky white masks the cultists keep running around in the mines. Uh, of the cultists you keep running into in the mines. Whoever's camp is here left in a hurry. Diary under the crude pillow of the bedroll. This mine is the worst. It sucks so bad here. I've been in some lousy mines, but this one really takes the cake. Everything smells like soup. The walls are slick with it. I swear I can feel it getting into my pores. If I went to a doctor for a blood test, he'd probably tell me my blood is tomato basil bisque or whatever. We finally- hold on. We finally get deep enough to hear the master. But it turned out the dang soup table is higher than we thought. We're spending 90% of our time bailing this stuff out and only 10% digging. I've got noodles in my boots. I hate this so much. Continue. Now the elevator's busted. It was always making a rattling noise and the guys off shift couldn't sleep. That finally stopped, but it stopped because the elevator itself stopped and we can't move it at all. Why do we even set up camp here? I had to spend the whole day scrounging around to find replacements. 137, 59, and 23 pound compression rings for repairs. We'll install them tomorrow. Entry 4. Boss says we're giving up here and heading into a real deep mine they found up northwest. It's a shame we wasted all this work, but it'll be good to get away from this soup. I will never eat soup again in my life. Got the springs installed proper, like with the strongest behind the short bolt and so on. Um, but there's no time to wrench everything down. Gotta pack. Not like the elevator matters much anyway anymore. Really hope I don't screw up again and forget my diary here when it's time to leave. I don't think I'll ever manage to fill in more than 10 pages in the same diary. That's the last entry. So up north east he said bop, bop, bop. northwest okay it was northeast i'd say oh they went to the dutch oven mine and everyone died attempt to fix it uh, let's see Three different size bolts uh, on the side of the elevator are all very loose. And some of the gauge uh, currently reads zero, whatever that means. Uh, leave it alone for now. I gotta go read that again. Continue. Continue. 137, 59, and 23. Number five bolt. Okay, so, and we're gonna algebra it here, of all places. So here's what we have. We have 3,200 that we need to equal. And that equals, uh, let's see, 411 of A Plus 295 of B plus 161 of C. All right, the A stand on itself. We'll just...
cut both of these by 250, which is not going to fit in there. Man, that's going to be a mess. <sighs> okay, kids and kittens. All right, we're going to have a little bit of fun with this here. So, here's the things that we know. Uh, among them are A, B, and C are always less than 8. They always are less than, or they are always less than or equal to 8, but we're going to assume that they're less than 8, that nothing gets maxed out. Also, A plus C need to equal 10. We tried just about every possibility where A plus C equals 5, or they would have to equal 15, because if they equaled 5, then B doesn't make it there with, uh, with, uh, just 295 alone and 8 turns. So, the different possible permutations for A plus B, A plus C equals 10 are 2, 8, 3, 7, 4, 6, 5, uh, 5, 6, 4, 7, 3, and 8, 2. And so that is, uh, do, 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 that is six different combinations, essentially. Um, and so we have six different combinations that we can try now once we've watered it down to A plus C equals 10. And, uh, so <laughs> we do six combinations and then we just jam the B button until we either pass it or we vicotori. Um, the, this extra stuff here, we could do a lot of sidewindery type stuff. I was thinking about doing a longer problem with decimals and all kinds of crap in it, but it looked like a miserable time. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so it's going to be longer than just brute forcing it. A plus C equal, equals 10. We've already tried A plus C equals 15, and uh, none of those work because there's only a few options for A plus C equals 15. There is uh, 7 and 8, or 8 and 7. <laughs> and uh, so neither one of those work. Um, there's also a few options for a plus C equals five. There's two and three. Uh, uh, there's one and four, two and three, and then three and two, and four and one. Um, we tried those already. Those also don't work. So we know it's a plus C equals ten. Um, uh, uh, well, we, it couldn't. It couldn't equal five because ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba, uh, B has to fit, and B did not fit in that case. So we're going to go back over to the West of Loathing screen here. Let this load up. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -do. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go back to full screen. Yep, this is good. And we are going to continue. And we are going to brute force this puppy. So, our options are 1, 2, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we just jam this until it works, or it does not, and then it did not. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, and then we just jam this until it works or it does not work. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, ta-da! <laughs> there it is. Okay. And so that's how you brute force this, is you have to surmise that getting it to five is too small, getting it to 15 is too high, so I need A plus C to equal 10, and then there's only six different options for A plus C equals 10, and this is it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two. Um, and so, huh, we did it. <laughs> you tighten the bolt with one complete revolution of your wrench. You hear a plate snap firmly into place, and the elevator seems to now be humming with life. Looks like it's working now. Excellent. Hallelujah. We need to get something to hold this in. Because I still cannot grab the soup. Uh, El Verbato Transponder goes crazy when you're near this crack. Break through! Yeah! Keystone, El Verbato Fluid times three. Cruise Grand Accord, 
light pulses of the pentagonal shape. Insert fluid. Three buttons appear. El Vibrato fluid. Leave the machine. Kuzhono Krokus. Tasta Penkuro Kuzkro. Kuzhono Krokus. Over about a shelter. Whoa. Over about a feud cube. I have more? Over about a rum. Okay. Increases your item and meat drop bonuses by 30% for the rest of the day. Whoa. Muscle, moxie, and mysticality by. Five and your maximum HP by twenty. Uh, and your max AP by two. Yay! Oh, that sounds amazing. All this I've El Vibrato nonsense. Up. Oh, hi. There are hundreds of snakes lounging around this pool of hot soup. Grab some. We got the jump on him. Let's do this. And the Gary will do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's spooky. Uh, 18 meat. You got stewed snake. Hooray! And he's 20% hot resistance to cross. Huh. What have I got that gives me hot resistance? I don't think really anything does. Guess let's get out of here. And to be honest, I probably better call it. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. Please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz because I love to hear from you. And uh, game is fun. Love it. Silly nonsense. I got a lot of editing to do because there's a lot of nonsense in here. So, anywho, I shall see you all in the not too distant future. I know you're gonna miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye!